Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Blaine, and I will be your host for tonight. 2020 marks the 183rd anniversary of the Bible Society of Singapore. To commemorate this important milestone, we will be having a four-part special virtual series via Zoom with invited speakers who will share about the Bible mission. This is in lieu of our annual Bible mission banquet and to adhere to safety regulations implemented to control the spread of COVID-19. The theme for this year's anniversary celebration is the word became flesh, sowing care for the nations. This is an apt reminder of our core mission to spread the gospel and God's love to the communities and nations. Last week, we kicked off this series of Zoom sessions with our leadership track, where the Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Tan Juan Jin, was our guest, of, guest speaker. Tonight's program is the second installation of the four part special series with a focus on missions. The Bible Society of Singapore actively works with our sister Bible societies through various partnerships and collaborations. Tonight, we have leaders from the Bible Societies of Israel, Bangladesh, Mongolia, and Peru to share their experiences and challenges with us. Before we begin, I would like to thank everyone for their overwhelming support in registering for this event. To welcome everyone to tonight's session, you may click the gallery view on your Zoom screen and let's greet each other by waving to your cameras. Just a brief reminder of our tonight's house rules. All participants are reminded to mute their audio throughout the session and not to share their screens. Also kindly note that recording is not allowed. If you would like to access footage of tonight's event, the Bible Society of Singapore will be releasing official photos and videos on our Facebook page. If you have questions for our speakers during their sharing, you may type them into the Zoom chat throughout the session. Our our moderator will then read the questions to our speakers during the Q&A session. Participants may also join the online poll to vote for questions they want to be answered on menti.com. Again, that's M-E-N-T-I dot C-O-M, menti.com. Simply enter menti.com on your internet browser, followed by the six-digit code, 55. 7681. Again, 557681. And you may either key in your questions or vote for a question. Now, to begin tonight's program, I would like to invite all participants to join our voices together in worship. Tonight's worship will be led by Mr. Kelvin Lim, the artist and creator of Shipography, an imprint of the Bible Society of Singapore. Kelvin. Hi, thank you, Blaine. So, welcome everyone. Good evening. Thank you for coming over here in this digital space. Despite physically so far away, let's be reminded that spiritually we are gathered together as a family. So as I open the session, let's just know that Jesus is in here in this space with you right now as we gather. As we gather, may your spirit work within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name Knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship We'll be blessed because we came We'll be blessed because we came As we gather as we gather, may your spirit work within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name. Knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship, we'll be blessed because we came. Because we came The steadfast love The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases His mercy never come to an end There are new every morning New Every morning, great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. 
morning Red is thy faithfulness, O Lord Red is thy faithfulness, O Lord Red is thy faithfulness Hallelujah, hallelujah Jesus, one and only beautiful Savior. Hallelujah. So I just sing Jesus beautiful Savior again. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, beautiful Savior, God of all majesty, risen King, Lamb of God. Holy and righteous, blessed Redeemer, bright morning star, all the heavens, all the heavens shout your praise, all creation, all creation bow to worship you, how wonderful. Name above every name, be exalted high. How wonderful, how beautiful, Jesus, your name. Name above every name, Jesus. Jesus, beautiful Savior. Jesus, beautiful Savior, God of all majesty, risen King, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, holy and righteous, blessed Redeemer, bright morning stars, all the heavens, all the heavens. For creation bow to worship you How wonderful, how beautiful Name above every name Be exalted high How wonderful, how beautiful Jesus, your name, name above every name, Jesus. I sing, I will sing forever. I will sing forever. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. How beautiful Jesus, your name Name above every name How wonderful How beautiful Name above every name Be exalted Jesus, your name, name above every name, Jesus, Jesus, your name, name above every name,
Thank you, Kelvin, for leading us in a wonderful time of worship. To get a better of the idea of what the Bible Mission is about, as well as some of our initiatives during the recent circuit breaker in Singapore, please enjoy the short video we have prepared for you tonight. 2020 marks the 183rd anniversary of the Bible Society of Singapore. Our mission has always been to make the Word of God known to all peoples by making God's Word available, accessible, and credible. This year has been a particularly challenging one as we battle the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic. In spite of this, we remain ever committed to continue our ministry. To serve the local churches, the Bible Society provided them with three guidelines on how to live stream their weekly services. Produce scriptural encouragement cards with personal messages to encourage frontliners and government officials as well as heartwarming sheepography illustrations to remind us of God's constant love. Published inspirational gospel tract in various languages. Provided churches with surgical masks and hand sanitizers at near cost, owing to the supply shortages early this year. So Care, the charity arm of the Bible Society of Singapore, Partnered with Hope Initiative Alliance, or HIA, and many partnering organizations to care for the vulnerable communities amidst COVID-19. Through the Safe Sound Sleeping Places, or S3P, and Innkeepers Project, SoCare has also supported HIA in providing holistic care for the homeless individuals. SoCare also focused on helping the nations within our nation by partnering with the Alliance of Guest Workers Outreach, a movement of HIA. Throughout the circuit breaker period and beyond, over 1 million daily care meals were distributed to guest workers in nearly 300 factory converted dormitories. The Bible Society of Singapore works closely with our partners and sister Bible societies in order to meet the needs of the people around the world. In the mountainous region of Yunnan, China, the Bible is being translated into Black Yi language, a language spoken by more than 4.5 million people in Yunnan alone. There are more than 7,000 languages in the world, but only about 542 languages have the complete Bible. That is why translation and publishing is a vital role in the Bible mission. In the devastated city of Tacloban, Philippines, the Waray Bible were being distributed to the victims of Typhoon Haiyan, a super typhoon which killed at least 6,300 people and left 1,800 missing. The Bibles are, are really, really an answered prayer because people need this right now. Thus, Bible distribution is very vital in our mission because this is the core of the Great Commission to bring the word of hope to the ends of the earth. In the remote province of Ashut, Egypt, Bible literacy programs are being conducted to teach biblical values to the new generation. Because of the program, 15-year-old Dala J was able to memorize the entire book of Habakkuk. Literacy work is life-transforming. Apart from improving their ability to read and write, they are also enabled to read the Word of God themselves. Amen. 
Being part of the Global Bible Mission also gives us opportunities to extend God's love and compassion to people in crisis situations through our overseas holistic missions. We have now many refugees in Lebanon. It's a huge number. The Bible Society of Singapore gave nearly 200,000 US dollars to this holistic ministry project. This contribution played a big part in enabling the Bible Society in Lebanon to touch more than 25,000 refugees with scripture materials and relief items. In response to the Rohingya crisis, the Bible Society of Singapore and the Bible Society of Myanmar, with the help of our generous donors, sent a team to the refugee camps to provide humanitarian relief. Thank you also for all your support. Uh, physically, materially, and even spiritually. Thank you. Your support over the years has propelled us to reach many. But there are still innumerable communities in dire need of help. Make a difference. Join us in the Bible mission. We hope you have enjoyed the video and now have a better idea of what we do here at the Bible Society of Singapore. Tonight's program is the second installation of a four-part special Zoom session in celebration of our 183rd anniversary with a special focus on missions. Over the years, the Bible Society of Singapore has been working closely with our sister Bible societies to bring the Word of God to the nations. This includes the provision of scripture and holistic care where necessary. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, there has been a greater need to reach local and overseas communities in need with essential supplies, as well as the word of hope. We are honored to have our special guest speakers for tonight, starting up with Bishop Philip Adhikari, Chairman of the Bangladesh Bible Society. Hello. Reverend Bayar Magnai Bayar Dalai, Executive Director of the Mongolian Union Bible Society. Hello from Mongolia. Mr. Pablo Gutierrez, Executive Director of the Peruvian Bible Society. They are from Peru. And Ms. Dina Catanacho, Director of the Arab Israeli Bible Society. We are also honored to have our very own Bible Society of Singapore board members with us tonight. Canon Emeritus Dr. Louis Tay, Auxiliary Priest of St. Andrew's Cathedral, member of the board of the Bible Society of Singapore. We also, we also have Reverend Cha Bing Hock, member of the board of the Bible Society of Singapore and senior pastor of Bethel Assembly of God. And of course, our General Secretary of the Bible Society of Singapore, Reverend Ezekiel Tan. I will now pass the time to Reverend Ezekiel Tan, who will officially welcome us to this evening's session. Reverend Tan, please. Thank you, Blaine. Very good evening to all of you, especially our special guests, my counterpart, my colleagues from the Bible Societies in Mongolia, in Bangladesh, in Arab Israeli, and also in Peru. It is a joy to see them and all of you with us as we commemorate the 183rd anniversary of the Bible Society of Singapore. And although we are still uh, in many countries are in the lockdown uh, and Singapore, we have uh, resumed some activities, but technologies has brought us closer together. So with Zoom, uh, no matter where we are, we could still meaningfully come together to thank God for His provisions, for His providence, for His presence with us this evening. Through the past 183 years, the Bible Society of Singapore has remained faithful to its core ministry of furthering the Bible mission and making the Word of God known to 
all peoples. It is our mission and prerogative to bring the living word of hope to a world filled with despair and hopelessness, especially in the crisis, the global crisis now that we face because of COVID-19. But our mission ultimately is to make the word of God available, accessible, credible, just as the word became flesh among us so that life will be transformed. In Singapore, the Bible Society has had a growing emphasis on engaging people with God's word through various Bible engagement programs, courses, events, training, as well as ministries that focus on people and language groups. The Bible Society of Singapore also supports the, the work and the mission of our sister Bible Society in altogether more than 20 countries, which we have chosen to partner closely in Asia, Africa, South America, and the Middle East, such as Bangladesh, Myanmar, Nepal, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Philippines, Israel, Egypt, Lebanon, Mozambique, Costa Rica, Peru, etc. And especially having the special guests representing some of these Bible societies that we work closely with. As a society, we have remained committed to the translating, publishing, distributing scriptures in the heart languages of this community, to Bible-centric literacy, advocacy, and engagement programs, while also providing humanitarian relief, holistic mission to victims of natural disasters, political turmoil, such as the uh, cyclone in uh, Mozambique and the refugees issue uh, of a Rohingya crisis in uh, Myanmar. And tonight's Zoom session will be focused on mission, an integral aspect of what we do at the Bible Society of Singapore. And this evening, we are honoured to have with us my fellow co-workers from uh, the four Bible societies. They are Bible missionaries who hail from various nations, having dedicated themselves to make his word known. They will not only share from their respective unique experiences from the ministry work across different cultural contexts, but also how they have persevered in sharing God's word with the unreached amidst these unprecedented circumstances that COVID-19 has presented us with. It is truly an encouraging and heartening to see their hearts for the least, the last, and the lost, as they provide the many underprivileged communities with a glimpse of God's love and care during this unprecedented trying period. It is my prayer that these testimonies will be both an encouragement and a reminder for all of us who have been blessed abundantly to not be complacent about our calling to fulfill his command to love our neighbors and care for the vulnerable among us. Although there may be a multitude of nations, we are committed to, fulfill, to fulfilling one Bible mission as his disciples. I would like to thank everyone for your immense support towards the mission of the Bible Society of Singapore and also our sister Bible societies, whom we are in close partnership and collaboration with. And you, our supporters and partners, have played an important role in enabling us at the Bible Societies to be a beacon of light to the local and regional communities that have yet to receive the living word. Above all, we are thankful to our Heavenly Father for His unfailing providence and goodness through the many years. May He bless us, bless our time together this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Tan. I now invite Canon Emeritus Louis Tay to open us with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you that uh, 183 years ago, 1837, you opened the way through the work of the British Foreign Bible Society, uh, together with Sir Stamford Raffles, uh, to plan the work 
of Bible Mission uh, in Singapore. We thank you that your son Jesus Christ has com commanded us that this gospel of the kingdom must be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations. Then the end will come. And so, Father, we want to uh, continue to pray for the work of translating, literacy work, publishing, distribution, engagement, and missions. And especially tonight as we have the work of Bible societies, from Mongolia, Arab, Israeli, Peru, and Bangladesh to remind us that the work is unfinished, that while your promise is that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea, there is still work to be done to bring the word of God, the saving news of your son Jesus Christ, the living word, so that none may perish, but that all may reach repentance. And so, Father, we pray for all involved tonight that you will not only inform us, but your Holy Spirit will use us as living sacrifices. Cain is involved, even in this time, uh, to bring the gospel to those who walk in darkness and in the shadow of death. For Jesus' sake, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Canon Emeritus Louis Tay. Before I invite our speakers, I would like to inform everyone that at the middle of the session, we will give you the opportunity to support the Bible Society of Singapore's overseas mission work. You may also scan the QR code, this one, on our virtual background for more information. Without any further ado, our first speaker comes from Bangladesh, a country where Christians make up less than 1% of the population. We now welcome Bishop Philip Adikari, who will give us a glimpse of how he and his team work to spread the gospel in their own unique context. Bishop Adikari, please. Good evening, brother and sister in Christ. I give thanks to Almighty God to provide me with a privilege to share about Bangladesh through Singapore Bible Society, GS Reverend Ezekiel Tang, and all of the staff of Bible Society. I would like to show our gratefulness to you, Singapore government, and the Honorable Prime Minister, Sar Lee, and the people of Singapore to be with Bangladeshi migrant worker for, from Singapore who are infected by COVID-19. The government is supporting them with high facility, healthcare recommendation and humanitarian needs, which I have never seen anywhere until now. Lord is speaking through your hard work for soul. We thankful to you. Bangladesh is the eighth most populated country within 164 million people. The land size is about 140 square kilometers in Bangladesh. It is a Muslim majority country with having 90% Muslim and 8.5% Hindus. 6% Buddhist, 0.4% Christian, and 5% other religion. For the last two weeks, in average of almost 4,000 people are getting infected every day. Now the country is standing on the high risk situation for COVID-19 outbreak. The total affected people up to date, 150,000 plus, and died almost 2,000 people. The number of infected people is in, uh, increasing rapidly. During COVID-19, we are locked down since March 24, and people are not able to work and dying 
in Hangar. I want to share a video of single mothers during the 19 COVID-19 lockdown. Please watch the video. <laughs> would like to provide emergency food assistance and hygiene kit for the 3,000 highly challenged family. People are uncertain during the paramedic and notice that people are open to gospel then even before in my life we would like to take this opportunity to bring the bible and transform their soul through jesus christ sharing the word with hope in christ will create a uh, bridge to introduce them with his glory we would like to provide distribute 5,000 Bible among the people. Please pray for our vision. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask me during the question and answer time. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bishop Adikari. And um, as you know, um, Bishop Adikari is also an evangelist, and we gonna will um, pray for Bangladesh as well as those who have been affected by the COVID nineteen. Thank you so much, Bishop, for your sharing. Next up, we have our guest speaker from Mongolia, a country where only about two point one percent of the population identify as Christian. Sharing with us the unique challenges of Bible mission work in his country is Reverend Bayar Magnai Bayar Dalai. Reverend Magnai, please. Hello, uh, thank you for inviting me to share our pro <coughs> project and our uh, Mongolia uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic. So I want to introduce our Bible Society vision. Our vision is to make the world of life available to every household. This is our, our Bible Society staff team, including uh, sign language project translators. Uh, we are 18 of us uh, working for uh, the Bible translation and the printing and distribution. I want to introduce COVID-19 situation and the Mongolian Union Bible Society by the God's mercy, we have not had any COVID-19 cases in the public. Uh, all the cases are important and uh, all of them are quarantined in the hospital. However, due to the economic issues, many businesses uh, got bankrupted. Many families lost their income and um, Many children are suffering from this, especially many families locked down outside of Mongolia. Uh, they cannot uh, come to Mongolia 
because of uh, landlocked uh, uh, and Mongolia still closes its uh, borders. Uh, uh, in this uh, situation, many churches and Christian organizations are organizing humanitarian uh, actions in Mongolia for people who are affected by COVID-19. For example, for instance, our Bible Society has uh, donated some amount of financial helps to the staffs who are working in the special situation. Uh, we help it uh, through the State Emergency Commission and uh, the Mongolia Evangelical Alliance, uh, which is uh, unites all churches, all uh, all churches in uh, Mongolia. This is a uh, poverty uh, statistics in uh, uh, Mongolia. Uh, as of uh, 2019, uh, uh, 2018, Mongolia had a population of 3.2 million. But uh, unfortunately, poor population is, uh, is about uh, 1 million. It's about 900,000 people. Uh, more poverty is in urban areas. Uh, additionally, 15% may fall into poverty. 40% uh, of poor people uh, are children under 15 years old. Uh, if you see my uh, slide, the number of pictures uh, which taken from uh, countryside and urban area uh, poor families and poor people. Unfortunately, 40% of them are uh, children under 15 years old. Many factors of uh, poverty are unemployment, alcoholism, and low education level, and recently COVID-19 are the more is the uh, uh, reasons for the poor. Now I want to uh, introduce our projects. We run uh, three projects right now. The first one is Mongolia Standard Version, uh, which is uh, a new translation of scriptures from the original uh, languages, and that is accurate, understandable, natural, and good for listeners. This is our project uh, purposes. The second one is Braille uh, Bible for Blind People. Uh, we started this project 2018. We aim to print uh, 150 Braille uh, Bibles uh, to about 16 thousand uh, blind people who are living not only in urban area but also in countryside uh, isolated areas uh, we will distribute all of them to the uh, all of our provinces and all of our urban areas cities now we have printed uh, only 10 of them and uh, we are praying for 150 uh, 140 uh, Braille Bibles to be printed. The third one is uh, Sign of Love project. This is a sign language Bible translation project for hearing impaired community. Uh, this project will last uh, at least six years. Now we are, are working on the book of Matthew and uh, uh, today I uh, heard from this project manager, they reached uh, uh, Matthew 20 chapter. And uh, we are, uh, COVID-19 affects all of those projects because uh, uh, they need to work, uh, but uh, COVID-19 affects all of them and uh, we need to raise funds more. Thank you for uh, listening to me uh, for our Bible Society. Thank you.
Thank you, Reverend Magnay. Wow, praise God that there is no local transmission of COVID-19 in Mongolia. Praise God. Yes. But um, yes. as you... As you have mentioned, uh, Mongolia is still affected by the economic crisis as well as the Mongolian Bible Society. So hopefully we can help you with that later. You can further discuss during the Q&A session. Now, our third speaker for the night comes from Peru. I checked. Now it's around 7 a.m. and he has been with us since 6 a.m. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Gutierrez, for waking up so early for us. So Peru, uh, majority of its population identify as Roman Catholic in spite of this, carrying out the Bible mission within the country presents its own challenges as well. We now invite Mr. Pablo Gutierrez to shed some light on the challenges he and his team face. Mr. Gutierrez, please. Okay, good morning. Uh, now it's 7.45 a.m. in Peru. And uh, thank you for being part of this special celebration. Uh, Peru is located in the American continent. American is not only the people who live in the United States. Peru is one of the largest countries in South America with a population of 30 million people. The population is five times larger than that of Singapore. Uh, Singapore is a modern country with many buildings. In Peru on the coast, we have desert, many mountains in the highland, <clears throat> and 60% of our territory is the Amazon jungle. In the city, many people live in marginal areas. 45% of the urban population live in shanty towns. One of the main problems in Peru is access to water and health. In order to prevent the coronavirus, people need to wash their hands with soap and water. Eight million people don't have water services in their homes. Uh, to date, we have 290,000 uh, people infected and almost 10,000 10, people dead. When we started the pandemic, we only had less than 300 artificial respirators for a population of 30 million. Currently, all hospitals have collapsed. Uh, we are in sixth place of infected after the United States, Brazil, Russia, Hindi, countries with mo much more population than Peru. And nowadays, we have seven members of our staff with COVID-19. Uh, before the pandemic, each day we have a different event. Uh, Sundays, they, there were six churches in our facility. 3,000 people attended each month the Bible Cultural Center. The COVID-19 pandemic changed our life. All activities were suspended. In 2 Timothy tonight, the Apostle Paul, when he was in, pre in prison, said, for which I am suffering even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's words is not chained. Like Paul Apostle was in prison, we were in lockdown. But the word of God cannot be in prison. We had to find new ways to continue fulfilling the mission. One of the emblematic programs is the Bread of Life. Every week, we provided food to children in rural and millionaire areas. With the pandemic, the meetings were suspended. The way of developing the project has been changed in order to continue with the ministry to children. We have distributed bags of food. Uh, one of the communities is Cantagallo, where 70% of the people were infected with coronavirus. In total, we have distributed uh, more than 2,500 bags of foods with the scriptures. Through the uh, uh, bag of foods and the scripture, the children know the love of God. Another emblematic project is Healing Wounds. 
uh, in the middle of COVID-19. In this difficult time, many people are suffering fear and worry, knowing from the news that the hospitals are full. They are not oxygen balloons, and receiving the news from family and friends who died of this disease. Additional, the economic crisis. Our mission is to give them a spiritual first aid. People can identify their pain, heal emotional wounds and or trauma. We teach them tools to learn how to correctly overcome the crisis. In these three months of lockdown, uh, 1,000 people have been trained. We have also developed a workshop, workshop with people who have had COVID-19. Distribution of New Testaments and Bible study guides. Since last year, we have a challenge of distribute 100,000 New Testament with training, which the pandemic has been paralyzed. This year, we received authorization to operate. Uh, today, we have distributed 10,000 New Testament uh, only in one month. The distribution carried out by organizations that develop social works. The distribution is carried out in marginal areas and hospitals. And one of the main problems of the lockdown has been the high rate of domestic violence. In Peru, four out of 10 women suffer violence. For more than 100 years, uh, families who suffer violence has been at home with their attackers. During the first three months, uh, the Justice Ministry carried out 50,000 protection project process and re registered 350 violations against girls. To date, 12,000 Bible study guides have been distributed that promote good treatment, treatment in the family. Romans 12, 1, it says, don't copy the behavior and custom of this world, but let God, God transform you into a new person by ch changing the way you think. The Bible changed life. Uh, the, the heart of the mission of the Bible societies is translation. We appreciate the support of Bible Society of Singapore for their generous contribution uh, to the translation of the Quechua Apurimac Bible. We have changed the way of working, but the mission remains the same. Influence the society with the values of the Bible. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gutierrez, for that sharing. I hope I have heard it correctly, but you mentioned that some of your staff have been affected by COVID-19. So we pray for their healing, and hopefully we can also channel help to your um, Peruvian Bible Society. And now our final speaker for the night is Ms. Dina Catanacho, Director of the Arab Israeli Bible Society, who will be sharing about the Bible mission in Israel. This region is an extremely unique one, as there are three Bible societies dedicated to serving specific groups. The Arab Israeli Bible Society is dedicated to serving the Arab Israelis living in Israel and has embarked on many projects to empower women and children in need. Ms. Catanacho, please. Hi, my name is Dina Catanacho and I am the director of the Arab Israeli Bible Society. Today, I would like to share with you our experience in ministry during COVID-19 in the last two months. In the beginning of the year, things were going very well as planned. Our activities, our workshops, projects, etc. Suddenly, something unexpected interrupted our lives and changed everything in the world, our plans, our style of life, even our way of ministry. The whole world within a few weeks became paralyzed. Fear and ambiguity interrupted our path. However, according to the word of God, we know that his plans are not like ours. We started to pray and seek God and become more vulnerable and sensitive to the whisper of the Holy Spirit. Then faith and hope revived our hearts again 
and we knew that despite the challenge of COVID-19, God has another plan for his people and his church, a plan full of goodness and mercy. During this time, many families were struggling with mixture of feelings, fear, anxiety, stress, anger, how to manage their time with kids at home 24 hours without a break. In addition, how can they at the same time maintain a healthy relationship with God during quarantine? Therefore, we had to align our ministry in order to meet the need of the church and families. We had done four new workshops that addresses the needs that we had mentioned. One of them was about the importance of play in the lives of children to help them in their anxiety and fear and to add some joy and fun in their lives. Studies shows that the ability to play and have fun is a sign of healthy psychological and emotional childhood. In the end of the session, one of the parents shared with us that he had never understood the value of play. However, after this session, he committed to play more with his children, even after the quarantine. Another session was about how to handle the fear of our children. We emphasize that God's love for us cast our fear from our hearts. Therefore, our loving relationship to our children will cast their fear as well and will bring peace and tranquility. In addition, we covered the topic of family altar during quarantine because many families were not able to attend church. One of our goals was to make sure that people are really engaged well with the word of God during this time, as scripture says. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. In this workshops, we encourage families to have joint prayers, to read the Bible, to communicate their challenges and blessings, to have a time of fun and creativity together. The impact of this workshop influenced one of our participants who said that the family altar opened his eyes to focus on spending his time to pray and read scripture with his children every day. We thank the Lord for this great opportunity and we would like to ask you to keep the Arab Israeli Bible Society and our team in your prayers as we seek to build the kingdom of God in Israel. Let us pray together. Our Heavenly Father, our region is full of hatred, segregation and anger. I pray for the peace of the gospel to dominate over our region transforming the hearts of people and give birth to a culture of biblical love. I pray that the Arab Israeli Bible Society contributes to bringing about this reality through making the word of God visible, accessible and engageable. O oh Lord, we live in a context in which there are diverse religious and denominational identities. Such diversity led to unhealthy competitions, exclusive worldview, and religious oppressions. O oh Lord, I pray that our diverse religious and denominational identities will be an opportunity for humility, willingness to listen, and openness to pursue truth. I pray that the Arab Israeli Bible Society will engage this religious and denominational diversity wisely, truthfully, and lovingly. I pray that the Arab Israeli Bible Society will empower God's people to be a witness of God's love, compassion, mercy, and truth. Lord, we live in a world full of false information, lies, and violence. Some groups lack access to power. This includes women and children. They are marginalized and often oppressed in the name of God. I pray that the Arab Israeli Bible Society contributes to empowering both men and women to serve together in advocating the gospel. I pray, Lord, that our family and youth programs will be effective and 
fruitful in transforming our culture and bringing forth the hope embodied in the Word of God. O oh Lord, COVID-19 has caused a lot of trouble for Israel. Many people have no longer jobs. Churches have closed their doors. Domestic violence has increased enormously. The country is paralyzed. People are not able to move around, visit their families. I pray that the situation will change and the team of the Arab-Israeli Babu Society will continue to serve faithfully. I pray that our programs will continue bringing the word of God and empower families to address their social challenges from biblical worldview. Amen. Amen, and thank you, Miss Dina Catanacho, for that very insightful sharing, and we pray for unity in that region. A big thank you to all our speakers for shedding light on how Bible societies all over the world are working to spread the Word of God to all peoples amid adversities. You may support the Bible Society of Singapore's efforts to, to be a channel of blessings to the nations by making a don donation. Please refer to the slide flashed on your screens. You may donate via PayNow or online donation. By putting God's word into action, it is our hope that many peoples will come to know Christ and experience God's love. As the Bible encourages us in Hebrews 13, 16, and do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifice, sacrifices, God is pleased. Your donation will play a crucial role in enabling us to so care for local and overseas communities, allowing many more to receive the help they need. Thank you for your generous support towards the Bible mission. To end off the night, we would uh, now have a time of corporate prayer. We'd like to invite Reverend Chav Ben Hock will be praying for the nations that have been affected with COVID-19, as well as the National Bible Societies, especially Bible Societies in Israel, Bangladesh, Mongolia, and Peru. Reverend Chad, please. Let us pray together. Our Father, we are thankful to you for the wonderful reports that we heard tonight, that you are doing a wonderful work in spite, O oh God, of the pandemic that is affecting the world today. Lord, we are thankful to you because we know your presence, Lord, are in these nations. Lord, we are thankful to you that because you have said in your word, nothing separate us from your great love. And Father, I pray even in the midst of this pandemic, let the love of God continue to flow even through the land. Lord, you know, Lord, the many pains, fear and anxiety that many people are going through in this time. Lord, I ask of you that you will bring that hope, Lord. Lord, the hope from your great love, especially from your word, Father, that they will know you. Lord, I thank you for the wonderful work, Lord, of the Bible societies around the world. And Father, tonight we pray that your hand will be upon every one of these societies. Lord, I pray for your protections upon every one of the workers and the work they are doing, O oh God. Lord, tonight we heard even some of the team workers, Lord, Lord, are affected by the COVID Lord, situation and they are infected. Father, I pray for your hand of protections upon them. You will bring healing to their body. You will grant them to them speedy recovery. And I pray, Father, for every other workers, oh God, that you will continue, Lord, to protect them and keep them safe, Father, as they continue to bring forth your word, oh God, and to spread your word, Father, to others. Father, we thank you. Lord, in the midst of this situation, we are thankful to you, Lord, to hear that they are finding creative ways even to reach out, Lord, to the people in their nations. But I ask that you continue in all these challenges that you will create these creative opportunities for every Bible society, Lord, in, in every country, Lord, to find a way where the Word become life. Lord, we thank you 
that the living word, Lord, where we reach out, Lord, even to those in need, that they may see your love, they may see your word in actions, even among the Christians. Father, I ask of you that you will continue to open up doors, Lord. Lord, the pandemic will in no way prevent the word of God from being spread even to every heart, to everyone who have yet to hear you. Lord, I pray that you will do this mighty work, Lord. Lord, tonight we are thankful to you again, Lord. Lord, for what you're doing, Lord, in Mongolia, in Peru, in Arab Israel, and also, Lord, in, in Bangladesh. Lord, these countries, Lord, Lord, many times they face with strong oppositions and persecutions. Father, I pray for your protections upon every worker, Lord. Lord, not only in the midst of pandemic, they are facing the challenges, but Lord, the pressure they are facing, Lord, is great. Father, I pray that your presence be with them. You watch over them, protect them. Lord, I pray in this season of time, Lord, that you will rise up, O oh God, and you will open up the doors, Father, that others will see that the hand of God is upon your people, that you are able, O oh God, Lord, to show to the world that they need you. Lord, you remind us in your word, Lord, Lord, in the midst of all that is happening, Lord, your people, even as we turn to you and call upon you, Lord, we ask for your hand of deliverance, Lord, to reach out, Lord, to every nation. Father, I pray tonight, Lord, even as we commit every nation that are affected by the pandemic, Lord, we ask of you, Lord, that in the midst of all they are going through, in the midst of their pain, in the midst, O oh God, of anxiety, in the midst, O oh God, of fear, Lord, I ask that you will cause their hearts, Lord, to turn to you. For everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so, Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you again for the wonderful work that you have done. Truly, you have said, O oh God, Lord, your word, O oh God, remains forever. And so, Father, I pray that you continue to strengthen and encourage every worker of the Bible societies around the world as we continue, Lord, faithfully in printing and reaching out to people with the gospel, Lord, that they will find the satisfactions that you are working through them, that, Lord, you are going to touch many more lives and win many more souls for your kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer tonight, and we ask for your grace and mercy, even in this pandemic situations. Lord, be gracious as you reach out, Lord, your great love to the people who are crying out to you. For this I ask in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend Cha. And now I would like to also invite Reverend Bayar Magnai Bayar Dalai to pray for the Bible Society of Singapore and our various Bible mission efforts here. Reverend Magnai, please. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for uh, your only Son, Jesus Christ, for us to save, uh, uh, save us from, from the sin. And uh, thank you for establishing uh, Singapore Bible Society 183 years ago. Thank you for uh, using them for your mission, for your uh, for your word and uh, thank you for using them uh, for other uh, for the Bible societies. I pray for Bible Society of Singapore. Please protect all of staff of uh, Bible Society of Singapore. Please be with them to serve you, to work you, to uh, distribute your word throughout of the world. I also pray for Bible Society of Singapore. I also pray. <coughs> um, I also uh, thank you for their generous heart, and please be with them to serve, uh, to serve uh, with your word to the whole world. And uh, I pray all of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, uh, Reverend Bagnai. Um, thank you for praying for us here at the Bible Society of Singapore.
And um, now I would like to invite Bishop Philip Adhikari, um, the evangelist as well, to end the night with a benediction. Bishop Adhikari, please. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we are closing this meeting. We want to give honor to you. Thank you for the marvelous fellowship you have done through us today. Now the peace of God, who is past all understanding, keep the heart and mind in his name to all Singapore Bible Society, respective and everyone who attend this Zoom call today, with whom we work together, reach among the unreached together, distribute the Bible together, praise and worship together for his kingdom. From now on, may the blessing of Almighty, the Father and the Son and Holy Spirit and his strong hand and protection be and remain amongst all of us during the paramedic COVID-19. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord bless all. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Adhikari. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight to celebrate our 183rd anniversary special. We have come to the end of the session and we hope that you have been encouraged by tonight's sharing. Next week, we'll be having another two more exciting Zoom sessions for our language track. On 8th July, we'll be having our Chinese session titled The Church in China and Chinese Ministry Amidst COVID-19. And lastly, on 9th July, we'll be having our Tamil session titled Caring for the Indian Churches and Guest Workers Amidst Adversity. I invite you to join us. You may register for the sessions by either scanning the QR code on the screen. You scan right now and you register, please. Um, visit bible.org.sg slash bss183. We hope to see you there. Once again, we would like to thank our speakers, Reverend Bayar Magnay Bayar Dalay, Ms. Dina Catanacho, Mr. Pablo Gutierrez, and Bishop Philip Adikari, as well as to Canon Emeritus Louis Tay and Reverend Cha Beng Ho for joining us tonight. Thank you as well to Mr. Calvin Lim for leading us in a time of worship. To show our appreciation, let us give them a final round of applause via Zoom reaction. Thank you for joining us tonight and for supporting the work of the Bible Society of Singapore and our sister Bible societies. You may click the gallery view on your Zoom screen and wave to your cameras. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you so much. We hope you have enjoyed the program. Good night and God bless you all. Thank you.